Executive Select Board meeting, March 16th, 2015, at 6.01 p.m. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, audience, BCTV. The first item on the agenda is the minutes from March 5th. Has anyone had a chance to read those? Yes. So we need to could make a motion to... I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the March 5th minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? Next, road business. I do have a report here somewhere. The Road Corners Road Commissioner's Report. We try to get these done in the morning most of the time, unless I'm really running late. So if you come in, you could get them in your box ahead of time. Oh, no. okay. Uh, far as the roads go, they're pretty rough due to all the storms. <coughs> some of the roads are getting pretty muddy. Newfane Hill seems to be the worst one right now. Oh, yeah. We spread some stone in some of the spots and uh, graded and raked it where we could. It's hard to tell how bad mud season is going to be this year. If it continues to stay warm during the day and get cold at night, it shouldn't be too bad. But if it gets warm quick and stays warm, we're going to be in trouble, I think. But there's a lot of other towns in our same boat, so we're all keeping our fingers crossed. As far as the equipment goes, the 2013 Mack dump truck has been a state line truck service for a broken rear spring. The 2011 F350 is the pickup. Went to Duran Ford for a recall and warranty work on the front end. It also had to have a new windshield installed. The windshield's been cracked for quite a while and finally cracked all the way across, so we ended up replacing it. The grader had to have the driver's door replaced uh, when they were out pushing snowbanks back. It got caught in the it broke the glass out of it, so we ended up having to have John Deere come down and put a window in it. Uh, number three, the new loader. We'll be sending bids out fairly soon. Um, we're planning on leasing the loader. I don't know if I told you guys before. Mm -hmm. I think that was um, in one of the other meetings. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's cheaper uh, to lease, isn't it? Oh, quite a bit, yeah. The uh, mm -hmm. salesman from Caterpillar said that they're willing to uh, defer the payment until after July 1st. And I'm sure the other ones might be too easily when I've really had a chance to talk to right now. Um, he recommends getting a new loader right off because he, he had a few leftover loaders sitting there, which would save us some more money, which would be good. They don't have any hours on them, they're just sitting there. They're not 2016 models or 2015 models, which we don't care. Right. Um, we will be posting the dirt road soon for mud season. Everybody know what that means when I say we're gonna post the roads. Yeah. It's basically to keep the heavy trucks off them um, we try to make a deal with the loggers and the, and the truckers that if they truck early in the morning when it's really cold, yep. they can do it. But as soon as it starts to warm up, all they have to get off. Yep. Does that include UPS? And no, they're fine. they're fine. Like an oil truck, we can't stop an oil truck either. And, mud, and uh, the guys that are sugaring, we can't stop them either. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mainly, mainly the log trucks that are so heavy. Oh, yeah. Uh, the overweight permits that the town issues are due. Have we got any of those yet? Oh, yeah, it's in my report. All right. Uh, V-Trans, Shannon and I met with Mark Pickering, who's uh, our district rep from V-Trans, to go over the yearly financial plan. We do this every year to see how much money the town will get for roads and bridges. Um, they're still not really sure because they're still haggling in Montpelier about whether they're going to cut more money from roads and stuff, so we're hoping they're not. He didn't come up with a real figure anyway. What was it last year? It was quite a bit of money last year. I don't remember what the exact figure was, but he goes through our... Um, town report goes to all of our expenses, adds them all up, then they come back with a figure. But they also uh, give us uh, structures grant, which means bridges, or like depot. I talked to him about depot, getting some engineering done, and he said that they could probably cover that cost for us. And then the other one is paving. Paving bids normally it's every five years, and we just had a paving uh, grant from them last year, so we've got a ways to go before we get another paving grant, but we always fill it out anyways in case he doesn't get enough people to apply for it. Plus he said if we all fill it out and, and they've only got 800,000 and they need two point something million, he said it makes it better for him when he goes to the state to say, look, we've got the need out there, so. Is that something you fill out or? Yeah. 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 It's basically what we just did with him, Chan and I just did with him. But I will let you know when we do these things, like structures, grants, and that type of stuff. I'll bring it before the board so you all know that okay. we apply for certain things. As far as the park and ride goes, the grant for paving, Shannon and I are going to meet with Matt Mann from Winter Regional tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Yeah. So, do you want to be there? No. Yeah. If any of the rest of the select board members want to be there, we have to post it. 
as a meeting. That's the only thing. Is it needed for us to be there? Not really. We're just trying to decide how to get sloped away from Route 30 and oh, yeah. not bother the neighbor across the way. So it's, the only reason I asked if Mike wanted to be there was because um, he's got, being a contractor, he could probably help us out with some of that stuff. But, expertise. You know, you're all more than welcome to go, but we're going to have to post it, right? Can we post it? Anyway? Well, I don't have a transit. <clears throat> I can bring one. I'm going to go check that great. Actually, we need 48 hours to warn. I don't have 48 hours. Right. right. Well, so for see. this one, I guess it's just yeah. Mike and I. And we're not needed, really. Yeah, it's just no. a matter of going over it and trying to figure out how to do it without making a mess out there and getting the state's approval to do it. So that is all I have for the road reformers report. <clears throat> they used to, uh, it's up to you guys whether you want to make a motion to accept the road reformers report or not. They used to. You don't have to. It's up to you guys. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Is it more traditional to do that? It has been. Um, I'll make a motion to accept that. Um, um, and I'll second. second. All right, the motion's been made and seconded to approve the road form and road commissioner's report. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed or abstaining, I'm, I'm obviously abstaining from that. Good. Well, there we have that. Uh, loader lease agreement. This is something, like we said before, that uh, we're going to work on, see if we get bids back here fairly soon. And uh, make Do sure. Do you know we, what the rough amount is? Uh, I don't have it right in front of me. Do you remember what it was? Was it 80,000, 85,000? Well, <clears> there <throat> wasn't really a total because it was per year. Right. So I don't we'll have to put it out to bid to get the, get right. the figures. We'll put it out to three of the, three Was of the- 20, uh, 20,000 for the year? It's like 17,500 or something, I think is what we- Yeah, this is per year. Right, mm -hmm. for seven years. And then we can either turn it back in or, oh, or own it, yeah. so. But that'll come up probably in the next meeting. I'll, See if I can get some stuff out. So we'll table that. Yeah. Administrative assistance report. Okay. Um, federal audit. We received um, one final piece that we were waiting for to finish the federal audit. Um, and the federal audit is required when you have more than $500,000 in federal grant money that you spent in one year, which because of FEMA, and the hazard mitigation buyouts, we hit that threshold, so we had to do one. Um, <clears throat> so we got that done this afternoon, and now I have one final piece that I need to finish up, and then we'll have a complete audit. Um, so the next item is the sale of the 2007 Ford F-350. The ad has been placed. Um, bids will be due on April 20th. And I, I pushed it a little bit just to allow more time to make sure the truck came in and, you know, kind of prepare the, the old truck for sale. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> overweight permits expire March 31st, and so far I've approved 12 applications, and there weren't any odd issues on any of them. Um, <clears throat> closed landfill. DB Environmental has been assisting me in applying for custodial status on the landfill, which basically means we won't have to test it every year and send the results to the state. Um, it will now consist of just a yearly visual check to make sure that um, there's no holes, you know, sinkholes, the um, fence is still intact. Um, basic visual and we don't need to send a report to the state anymore we just keep a record that we've monitored it each year who does that visual uh, well we don't normally because right now we have to have a company go in and test oh, twice a year mm -hmm. so he, he does that mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> as part of his report but now it'll just be a matter of he'll meet like maybe Todd when they're mowing the, the oh. landfill and just Double check and make sure it looks okay. okay. There hasn't been the problems on us, No. Luckily. Now, is there money too that we don't have to pay anymore? That's right. Exactly. It'll save us about $5,000 a year. Nice. Yeah. So, um, and I'll just, I'll keep you updated as the, as the process moves along. Um, <clears throat> on the Arch Bridge, I received a call from the new project manager for the Arch Bridge. Um, she noted that even though the, the last person was here to give um, the required presentation to the board, 
um, the presentation he gave was not complete, and so it doesn't count. <laughs> so um, she asked if you know she could come back and give the the actual formal presentation, um, and it was my thought that with three new board members Absolutely. that will be moving forward on this decision and be bad sense. Absolutely, yeah, we need that presentation. Yeah. yeah. So I told her I would recommend to you guys that that you have her come back. Um, and she's willing to come during a regular select board meeting. So, Great. can you um, set up? A, yeah. Maybe so the next yeah. meeting or something. Um, maybe the next one. Or next week. Yeah. One after that. Next couple. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Great. Um, and then the hazard mitigation buyouts. Now that the weather is starting to improve, I'll need to be sending out a bid for demolishing the sheds that are still there. Um, so I'll, I'll work on that and have it ready within the next couple of meetings. <clears throat> and there's still no word on 246 Dover Road, which is the one that was waiting to be approved um, because FEMA still has not approved our hazard mitigation plan. The trailer? Yep. <coughs> so that one's sort of in limbo until our plan is approved. Why, don't they, why aren't they plan approving that? Now we send it to one regional, right? Yep. And she just got it back about a month ago for two very minor changes. So she put it back up and I'm just not in a big rush. Anybody got any questions for Shannon? <clears throat> what, uh, tell me more about this arch bridge. Uh, she's going to give us an official presentation. Mm -hmm. However, in her last presentation, what was the part that they left out? It wasn't hers, it was the prior project manager and we don't we don't know what he left out. No. We just know it was not the official presentation that he needed to give. So does that set us back on the timeline of getting the no. They've got the no. plans in the works now. Right. And part yeah. of the problem yeah. was that he did the presentation before those plans were even drawn up. So the decisions that were made at that presentation on alternatives and right. really couldn't be made. The last board had decided that we'd like to stay with the carriage braids there. It only makes sense um, for two reasons. One, you don't have any abutments, you don't have any steel work, it's all concrete, which is basically not much maintenance. And the other issue is if we can get historic sites to absolutely go with it, they'll pay for the whole thing. We don't have to pay anything. So. Yes, yeah, so what's it's going to be my question? It's Who's such paying a for historical it? bridge. Yeah. Yeah. We need to keep that. They would tear this one down pretty much, I think. You build a new one in this place, but um, have we had any public interest in uh, what should we do? What choices should be made? Just around town. I mean, people that were here at that meeting and stuff. So, yeah, and people I mean, that I've talked to are all for it. That presentation it was pretty widely publicized, but we didn't get a lot of interest. I, I mean, I would think <coughs> that that would be important to have. Right. Once I think once we get closer to it. We could we could actually we have a public meeting. Yeah. Just yeah. What was the old bridge it. made of? It's all concrete. It's all concrete. It's, it's the, the one at the junction of Grimes Hill and Depot Road. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's pretty bad shape. The sides are starting to off. come off. It's got a lot of ice and frost in it right now. Yeah. And it's trying to push it this way. So mm -hmm. we're just hoping it'll stay going because it's, it's gravel filled, right? Right. It soaks mm -hmm. up the ground. So it's all concrete. <clears throat> so it'll just be duplicated, basically. So basically, yeah. It's starting to fall out of it. Yeah. Water gets in, and that's what makes it start popping yeah. out. Yeah. Well, they said it was anywhere from three to five years, and we're trying to push that up to like one to two years, but we'll see. Maybe she'll have some better news for us. Something that we've been, the town's been pushing for for quite a while to get them to move on. And Wyndham Regional actually has that down for number two for their bridges in this area. So well, that's good to know. So hopefully, any other questions for Shannon? All right, scheduled members of the public. We don't have any, right? Unscheduled members of the public? Oh, come on now. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Or do you want to wait for open? Um, we can get it out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So you want me to wait until for old business? It's up to you. Are you going to stay? Yeah, I'll stay. Okay. No unscheduled members of the public. New business. Vermont Municipal Bond Bank yearly paperwork. Yep, it's this one. Yes. This is basically just saying that the bridge 14 
at the right in front of the South Newfane store is done, which has been done for like four years. Um, for some reason, we're having to do this every year, and I'm a little confused as to why we need to tell them every year that it's complete. But but the board needs to sign it. Yeah. And that's all we really have to do is just. Can we find out why they? I want did that? email them today just because I was really confused. It was done last year, so. Um, so what is the normal schedule for this? Not every year. Yeah. We're not really sure. The We're bond trying to... bank that supplied the money for the bridge is requiring. I think they want to know if it's still up. Yes, it's still up. We pulled it down. It looks like it's still done. <laughs> Did we do what we said we're going to do? <laughs> and it could be that they just send them and they're not really expecting them back, but that's why I emailed them. Better to send them back, I guess. Yeah. Anybody have any other questions on that? Nope. Rules of procedure. Did we all have a chance to read the rules of procedure? Yes. If people are comfortable with that, we could sign it um, on the back page. Well, if people have questions, that's fine. Yep. I have some questions. I, I'm comfortable with it, but uh, and you did kind of answer the question about timing, so that answered that question I had. And um, I guess that's it. Anybody else have any questions about it? Nope. Concerns? No. Something that we think needs to be changed? No. All right. Why don't we take this one and we'll yeah, sign it. And four signatures is enough, right? What's that? Four of us is enough. Yep. <clears throat> All right. The next one is rules of procedure. Did everybody have a chance to look at that one? Yep. Any comments or questions or concerns? Uh, can you just go back? Certainly. Just quickly and just do a formal motion to adopt. Our you can do that. Somebody wants to make the motion. Uh, I make the motion. To, <laughs> go ahead. I make the motion to adopt the procedure. Second. Motion has been made. Seconded to adopt the procedures. Is there any other discussion? That's the for the uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no. Procedures. Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining. Nice have it. Now, conflict of interest policy. Yeah, I, I read through that. I thought it was really well structured, actually. Yes, it was. I think it's really great. I don't think anything needs changing. That's just my personal I do have uh, two corrections to suggest. Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, in section, Article 3, Section A, number one and number two are identical. And I'm not sure why they have to be, um, why we have to have them stated identically twice. There. Did you notice that, Shannon? Um, Conflict of interest. Article 3, Section A. Uh -huh. One and two are both identical to each other. Oh, yeah. So there. I guess we didn't do our homework very well, did we? You did. <laughs> Just so you wouldn't forget. <laughs> yeah. Want to emphasize it. Really making that clear. Good Lord. <laughs> so we should get yes, that corrected no, and sign it at the next meeting. Yep, and or if you want to, while you guys are doing pay orders, if you make a motion to adopt it as amended, I'll change it and you can sign it when you sign pay orders. Right. Anything else? Yes, there was one other one on uh, Article 4, and this is just a typo, but Article 4A, and I thought we'd want it to be right, um, we have a public office shall not participate rather than officer. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So Anybody if you else? Want me to change those? I'll do that. We can There's one tiny spelling error, but it's it's negligible, and um, I can't remember where it was. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think it can. I can let it go. <laughs> Somebody wants to make the motion to adopt this for the motion. change. I'll make a motion to adopt this. Sure. I'll second. Motion has been made. As corrected. As corrected. Motion has been made and seconded to adopt the town of Newfane conflict of interest policy. What did you say? As corrected. As corrected. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? That was easy. I need one of those buttons. <laughs> Old business. Appointments and vacancies. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. At the last planning commission meeting, um, George. And uh, Tristan both resigned. So that leaves the Planning Commission now with only two members. That's not good. Uh, we were the two junior members, so <laughs> um, that's Pat and myself. 
Uh, some names have come forward. Uh, Carol is good enough to find some folks in the in South Newfane, Williamsville area that are interested. Uh, David Hull uh, from uh, Snow Farms up on the South Wardsboro Road is interested. Um, and is our uh, um, Lynn, Lynn Forrest is also interested. Yeah. Were you able to contact? We lost a, um, a chair before the, any contact was made, so we still knew, we, we had no organization at this point, so we can't do any business whatsoever. Would Tristan be willing to come back and do the organizational meeting with you? No. Um, uh, I think we can pick it up once we have a quorum. Yeah. That's, that's their challenge now is we don't have a quorum. You have to have five? Yes. But we need at least three. But, uh, uh, could uh, Shannon uh, could call uh, the gentleman in uh, South that's, Lucene? That's and he fine. was just interested in knowing what the job entails? Uh, yeah, unless you probably have a better idea of what it is. I'd be happy to call him. To call him. Yeah. Lynn Forrest is, is ready to be appointed if the board so chooses to appoint her. Do we do the appointment or do we do a recommendation from the planning commission? No, the planning commission recommends to you and you appoint, but there's no planning commission to recommend. Uh, in lieu of no planning commission, are we able to <laughs> appoint, appoint someone? Would that make the three that you have so to have? So if you had three, at least you could meet and then, sure. and yeah. then meet with these other. Yep. Okay, so we would just appoint Lynn. Can we appoint without the That'd be fine. Okay. So? We can do that. That'd yeah, because they don't have the, they don't have a quorum. They don't have a quorum. So they That'd can't do anything. Yep. So we, if we so appoint so Lynn Forrest and they'll have a quorum, they can get moving on. And then they can choose from the other ones. The less seen is, are you interested? See me? You want to be on the planning commission? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, I've, I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Our challenge is that we lost all of our enterprise knowledge. Um, the people who have been on the board the longest are the ones who all have stepped down. So we've got to rebuild all that as we go into this next five-year plan. So it's going to take us a little while to get up and running. Wind and Regional should be able to help you a lot. Yeah. They are, yes, yes. They've been a lot of help. I mean, we have some things that are already in the fire that we're working on. Uh, it's just the timing is bad. So... Was that posted on our website? Mm -hmm. It was. If anybody would like to make a motion that we appoint Lynn Forrest, feel free to do so. Motion's been made and seconded to um, nominate Lynn Forrest to be on the Planning Commission. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? I guess Lynn Forrest is the new member. Shannon, are you going to? I'll let her know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now you can contact. Now we can then contact. After, after the meeting that we have, I'll contact all these folks and say, okay, we have your name, we see your hand, um, but we meet on the 24th, which will be our organization meeting, and then we can contact whoever wins the wrestling match and then contact you <laughs> and uh, discuss you coming on the board as a member. Oh. So we won't talk to Paul. Anything else for appointments or vacancies? We have some in the works. Um, Archer Mayor has agreed to be the grand juror for New Fame, <coughs> and we're trying to get him into constable's job. Possibly constable. We'll see. Um, and Doris Knetchel has agreed to be the senior solutions representative. How oh, much? Nice. Yep. Anybody got anything else? So what well, else was it? Oh, well, there's a bunch of them. Um, town agents. Uh, the Development Review Board still has some vacancies. The Town Office Building Committee. Um, I sent out a list today um, just to uh, as many neighbors as I can think of, uh, an email list um, showing the appointees that, uh, appointed positions that we are still looking for and um, giving a description of the job, uh, just a little a few sentences to describe the job. Hopefully we'll get some feedback. And I, ha I asked them to contact Shannon uh, if they know of anyone uh, who is interested. Yeah. Perhaps that's something that you know, other people can do as well. Yeah. Beat the bushes, so to speak. There is a, now an extra name on this list from uh, zoning, I mean from uh, planning. 
and uh, if we don't fill it in with the planning position, that would be one person for DRB. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that would be good just to get some stuff started and if your neighbors also send out to their neighbors. And maybe That's what I'm hoping, yeah. and uh, you know, and uh, I know my neighbors, but I might not know your neighbors. Maybe you can all kind of beat the bushes with me. All right, anything else under appointments or vacancies? Mm. Hearing none, unfinished business, park and ride grant. We, I think we that. covered that, right? Yeah. FEMA closeouts, we just covered that too, didn't we? Did you yeah. have that in your report? Boy, we're getting this too fast. This is terrible. We're supposed to go till 9 or 10 o'clock. <laughs> Um, correspondence, the only correspondence. Oh, yeah. Did we finish park and ride grant? Yeah, that's what we just talked about with VTRANS coming. Right. Do we have, um, oh, okay. I was wanting to know, I had a few questions. Yes. Um, I understand that the maintenance of uh, a park and ride is up to the town. Yeah. And um, the other thing I was wondering is do we have any, um, sketch or plan or uh, rough draft of what it's going to look like. Yeah. Not yet because we've been trying to deal with a gentleman in Montpelier, VTRANS. We wanted to move the entrance up a little bit <coughs> so that when you come in you're in the center of the parking lot mm -hmm. so we can have parking places on both sides. And right. He's been fighting us. Because he does not want any excess water on Route 30. He doesn't want the parking ride to be tipped towards Route 30. Right. So that's why we're meeting with Matt Mann from Wyndham Regional tomorrow and the contractor, the paving contractor. Mm -hmm. And we have to transit out, like Mike said, maybe we can take some readings and see where we go with it. Okay. And so that's the main issue with this? Plan. Pretty much, except that we can't, it's a it's a hard one because we can't pitch it this way. We just spent a fortune on the basement, right. trying the basement out there. Right. So we can't pitch it towards this building or we're going to have more issues again. We can't pitch it to the back of the parking lot. Because, because that's where the alternate septic has got to go oh, if yeah. the septic fails. So our hope is to, to uh, if you pull in here to the left where the dumpster, where the roll offs are, mm -hmm. maybe build a, they said they can build a, what they call it, it's like a little water garden yep. that'll soak up the water. Mm -hmm. They're hoping to be able to do that, but we have to get a hold of uh, Ed Drew from WW to find out mm -hmm. if he's got any plans for that building. Or any objections. Right. Um, and then uh, any idea of, uh, I know you have to have more than 10 spaces, but any idea of how many spaces that you're planning on? What do we figure? What do we figure up that time? Just 10? I thought it was like 30 something. Yeah. We're just 16 on each side. Something like that. 16 on each side dedicated to the ride and share? No. No, for the whole, oh, the the whole park. Oh, yeah. okay. How many dedicated to the ride and share? You have to have 10 dedicated to the You have to have 10, but. Yeah. What we might be able to do is the parking right on that side of the right because they'd be parked out of the way that way yeah. and have the anybody from the town that's doing town business parked on this side and there would be no parking on that because that's be the drainage side right well you can park if it's paved they'll be able to park it there mm -hmm. but we just we just got to make a ditch or swale something to get the water to flow so it was seemed like an easy thing at first but it turned into not so easy we've been doing this now for over a year trying to figure this out so well, we'll keep working on it. We'll try to get it done here soon. We, we accepted the uh, bid for paving last year, as long as we can get the permit from the state to let us do it. So once we get that, we can tell the paving contractor to go ahead with it. So as soon as it warms up a little bit. And are all these expenses being covered by the grant? Yes. So right. far, there haven't been expenses. It's just been people they, volunteering their time. To it's not even a match, is it? It's just a straight grant, or do we have a match? Yeah, it's, um, no, that's not true. There was a 10% match, so our share was $2,500. Which we budgeted for before. So. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Well, now we are to uh, correspondence. Um, correspondence here is from Wyndham Regional Town. What they're trying to do is set up a meeting and if any of you folks want to go um, just let us know on March 19th they're going to be meeting at the Towns and Town Hall to go over um, it's like sharing equipment like we have a flood 
can we borrow each other's equipment or do they have other services in their town that we don't have can we can we uh, get together on that I'll leave this here mm -hmm. so you guys can read it if there's more than two of you that are going to go just let Shannon know so she can warn it as a select board meeting but there's that University of Vermont Extension Cultivating Healthy Communities 70th Annual Town Officers Education Conference and I'll leave that here too that's I class. did look at that and I, uh, I thought it covered many things that the Select Board 101 training um, doesn't cover. Yep. So I thought it was if anybody wants to go, good. feel free, you know, like I said, let Shannon know. When is that? Well, uh, there's all different ones. There's April 1st is in Burlington. April 22nd is uh, Lake Maury, Lake Maury Fairfield, uh, Fairley. And April 29th is in Killington. Begins, well, it doesn't really say, $65, which we've got money for training. So, again, if anybody's interested, there they are. Okay, thank you. I believe that's all the correspondence we have. That was that. So, we're up to pay orders all right. already. All right. Do people want to do pay orders? It's actually easy it's to just, payroll. It's just payroll. Just Thursday, we have to come in. Mary in it. Thursday, if you can come in and sign pay orders, that would be good. Hi. During the day, any time during the day, just go up and see Maureen. Okay. Tell you, you want to sign pay orders. Nope. Okay. We can Thursday, each sign Thursday, Maureen. Yeah. Great. Very well.